Hello, this is Chef John from foodwishes.com with how to make your own herb salt. This is a fantastic holiday gift idea, whether you can't think of what to get that certain person or you don't have a lot of cash. All right, so this stuff's so easy to make, very cool, makes a great gift for any foodie, also makes a great little extra stocking stuffer. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some fresh herbs. I'm using rosemary and lemon thyme. Now I have the advantage of having an herb garden, which, you know, you should really have. But if you don't, just get some at the supermarket. We're going to wash those herbs really well. All right, we're going to pick them and we're going to dry them really well. So we don't have to chop them here because they're all going to get processed with the salt. But we do want it really dry. We don't want to put wet stuff with salt. So the first step here is to grind this in a food processor with coarse sea salt. All right, this is too coarse to eat as is, but this larger size is actually going to help us pulverize all that herb, and then we're going to mix it with salt in the second step. So I'm going to put about a half cup pack of fresh herb in my food processor with a half cup of the coarse sea salt, and we're going to pulse on and off, on and off, on and off. Let it run for a second or two, turn it off until it looks like that. All right, so once it looks like that, which is really, really beautiful, as you can see, all that coarse salt is now basically the same size as regular sea salt. And to that, we're simply gonna add a cup of regular sea salt or kosher salt. You want something flaky, something that has a nice, you know, fairly large crystal. Give that a couple pulses on and off, and you're done. How easy is that? Fresh herb salt. I'm gonna pour it out into a baking dish to let it dry out a little bit. Now those herbs were dry, but they still have moisture in them. So what I like to do is leave this out on a tray like this or a pan for maybe two, three hours, just out in the open, and that will help evaporate a little bit of that moisture. So this is called a finishing salt, meaning it's sprinkled onto cooked food once it's done. Things like French fries, instead of regular salt, toss them with this. Just so many, so many delicious things you can do with it. All right, so once that's dried a little bit, we are going to simply jar it up. I just use these little mason jars. All right, so there you go. Very simple, very easy, and not even something you can really buy in a store. I mean, there's, you know, herb mixes and salt rubs and things like that. But this is homemade, extra special, and the person you get it for, I think, will appreciate it more than something you just grabbed off the shelf at, uh, you know, Bed Bath & Beyond the day before Christmas. All right, and if you want to get extra, extra fancy, you can get some of this craft paper, and you can make your own customized labels. There you can see Uncle John's famous fresh herb salt use on or with food, you know, as opposed to de-icing your steps. Anyway, hope you give it a try. All the ingredients are on the site, as usual. And as always, enjoy. Enjoy.